uh, when we're ready, uh, and that is after we board these out, uh, we should go ahead and uh, do a little bit of uh, maintenance on them. Uh, we can go ahead and, if we have any flaws in here, in the bore, uh, let's go ahead and get them filled. Cracks that we might see from knots. Another thing I like to do is, is I like to take a piece of rod, a dowel, and some 80 grit sandpaper and clean out the bore. Uh, <clears throat> in this case we've got a 5 8 bore. I'm going to use a half inch dowel and some 80 grit. And I've sanded that out and I'm going to check it now with a 5 8 inch dowel and see how we're lining up. I right, see I've got just a little bit of edge here. I like them to be perfect. Uh, that way when I'm gluing them together I can just put them right together and they match up perfectly and the bore is just where I need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send this to the planer. I'll show you just how to do that there. Heavy end up and then same thing with this one here. Heavy end up. And we are near perfect. So we're going to go ahead with that there. It looks nice when I line these up for gluing. This will all match up perfectly. All right, we're going to go ahead and let me just show you here uh, quickly. Uh, we're going to make a mark. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mark it down the center here. I can use my finger here like this and then stretch the piece of wood around and a second mark and I've got the two marks. We're going to take it to the saw. What we're going to do is we're going to line up the saw blade with the mark that's centered here. That is perfect. Lock out the fence. I'm going to bring it up just a half a turn. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and make those two curves in there. But there they are. And when I go to drill that out, I'll know I'm perfectly in the center and I've got myself a nice channel there to send the drill bit down through. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, is the top piece again. We went ahead and made that mark in the center. And we got the channel in there for the air to come into the sack. And we're going to take it over here to the drill press and drill out a couple of holes. We're going to go in either side here, the front end of the sack and the back end of the barrel, getting in as close as we can to this plug area. notice I'm wearing safety glasses, I wear the apron to help protect me also. Safety first in everything that you do. We're going to take this half and the other half and we're going to glue them together. You'll want to take and swab out the inside. Uh, you've got glue in there, I've already done this here. Uh, I'd like to take a damp rag and I send it down the barrel, turning it, bring it back out and then I clean it off, rinse it, second time through until I feel like the glue is cleaned out of there. That way you don't have big chunks of glue and it really looks professional when you're all said and done at the end. When you're done with that, send through a dry swab and clean it up and you're good to go. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you. Just using a paint scraper, you can come down and you get a nice little curl if you keep it nice and sharp and it'll clean it up and you get yourself a nice flat surface. Clean off the other side and now you've got yourself something that's ready to go through the planer. What we're going to do is size it. Again, this is down to 3 16 of an inch. I'm doing this here to check these things. Perfect. I'm about a 64th over which is, gives me just a little bit of cleanup and I check it all the way around. This is, this is one that's ready to go. We're, and we're going to put a flue in here. So I've got the marks across and then I'll mark them on the sides here and here and on the other side. Let me turn that around. And we'll mark that right there and there. That gives me a guide so that I don't take and run my flue any further than I need to. I like to end up when I'm all said and done turning, sanding, etc. at about a 32nd of an inch on this flue. You can see it done. We're going to check it, see how it looks. Our 3 16 and a quarter inch. That's a perfect flue on there.
for this size flute. Okay, that's all we do on that there. Now we're ready to go over and we're going to go ahead and burn out these two sections. And what I'll do is I'll just show you that they're burned out and how I go ahead and fashion these here. I've got a rod that I use particularly for that there. It's got a nice flat end to it. And what I'll do is, is I'll turn on the torch, heat this up, and then I use the glove on my hand so I don't get burnt. And you will if you're not careful. And what I'll do is, is I'll burn down through, right through the center, and then each side of the flue, I want to make sure, or the channel, I want to make sure that I don't go any further than that, side to side, and then I pull it back and hit it so it's flush. I do the same thing on the sound hole on the opposite side, and this is ready now to be able to fashion the knife edge. And I use a file, uh, I've got a 30 degree pitch on that, and then what I'll do is, is I'll come in and I'll start sanding until I get this knife edge. And then also I clean the back edge of the wall. And when I'm all said and done, and I feel like I've got this done perfectly, I'll take it out. What I'm going to do is just check my fundamental note at this point to see what I've got. I can just hold my totem on there. It's sharp of a B. So this is going to end up being a C. I'll just bring it over. We're about five to ten cent shy of that there. Perfect for going ahead and turning this flute.